We're going to put on a, um, a visual strip onto this glass panel beside this door today. Uh, we're going to use our stencil locators and we're going to use a 38mm uh, or 1.5 inch square bevel. Um, and you can see the pattern that we're going to, we're going to uh, create. Uh, we have our, uh, our stencil locator and we're only using certain squares out of that. We can use the whole lot, we can use any different pattern we want out of our, out of our stencil using our 38mm square bevel. So the bevels are going to go on from the outside so we can make our marks on the inside as it might interfere with the, uh, the uh, bevel bonding application. So I'm making my mark here. And from here we can line up our stencil from the outside using those marks. So we're just going to follow those marks we made on the inside. And just tack our stencil there, the locating stencil. Once we're happy with that, so put a, um, a full strip along both top and bottom because we want to get the stencil as flat as we can onto the glass uh, without lifting that bottom uh, with coming away from the glass so that the bevels can't fall down. Saying this, we've cleaned the glass thoroughly before cleaning any paint off, any grime off, using our scourer or detergent and water. Okay, we're ready to start bonding. The lamp we're going to use today is just a white compact fluorescent tube. We're just going to put it in a standard desktop lamp. Uh, this is an 18 watt um, fluor um, compact fluorescent tube. Uh, I chose 18 watt um, and not 11 watt because I want it to cure a little bit quicker today because we're going through tinted glass. So uh, with Nano 470 decorative light adhesive we're going to cure from the inside through the glass onto the flat bevel surface and onto the adhesive. We're not going to cure through the bevel itself from the outside. The pattern that our customer has chosen today um, does not want every square filled up. So what, we, what we've decided on is we're going to put um, one in the uh, corner, bottom uh, right hand corner, then this section up the top, miss a section down the bottom, miss a section up the top and just spread the squares out over the length of, uh, of our glass panel. Now to apply our adhesive we just put, we're just basically going to coat the bottom part of the bevel and hold it away so the adhesive runs down. It's advisable that we use um, disposable gloves if you have sensitive skin. So what I'm going to do on, a, uh, on an angle, I'm going to put it on the bottom edge and I'm going to slowly lever it up off that bottom edge and as you can see the adhesive flowing up like a wave there's a couple of bubbles there but it doesn't matter flowing up like a wave I'm going to give it a little push and a little wiggle see the adhesive in the corner here we have enough room in our locating stencil to move that around now if you have find that you don't have enough adhesive you can just put a little drop, a little squeeze at the top corner. Now bear in mind we're working outside here so we so it's going to cure quite quickly. So get it into position. Now because we've got a, a gap around our locating stencil I'm going to push it down and to the right. So this bottom corner. So all my bevels are going to be down and to the right and you can see I've got a big gap on the top and down the left hand side of the bevel. Now this, this locating stencil is 1.3 millimeters thick which is good because it holds the bevel in place. Now I can go around myself to the other side and hold the lamp and cure it. Okay now our, our bevel is in position I'm just going to hold our white fluorescent tube, compact fluorescent tube on the uh, bevel surface, uh, on the inside of the bevel surface on the flat glass. The uh, light passes through our glass structure onto the back of our bevel, so the light's not going from the front of the bevel through the actual bevel on the edges. Now I hold this here for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, and uh, the uh, the bevel should be cured by then. Then I'll remove the light. Now, if you had a uh, a person with you, um, then that would be they would uh, be on the inside using the light, turning it on and turning it off, while you're on the outside monitoring the situation but today I'll just demonstrate it using it by myself. 
Now, the ease of Nano 470 decorative adhesive is the fact that um, it only cures with a white light. So we're, we're not having to use ultraviolet light to cure the adhesive. Ultraviolet light is quite dangerous as it um, can give you skin cancers uh, and, uh, and cataracts for your eyes. So as you see, put a little bit more adhesive on this time so that um, that top edge um, that top edge gets a bit more coverage as I move the adhesive up and over the top edge. And what I'm doing here, I'm just cleaning up so that I'm keeping my space nice and uh, clean. What we would do if we were doing a bevel below this one, we would put all the lower bevels on first and then the bevels at the top on last because as you saw the excess adhesive running down will contaminate our area here. So if I was to do all of these strips then I would do the whole bottom row first and then the top row. Because we're not putting a bevel underneath this bevel um, we're fine because we're, we're checkering them, checker design, then um, a bevel is not going to go there. Okay so I'll just go around and cure that. So we're going to hold it here for uh, about 20 to 30 seconds. If we were, uh, we're doing this, the outside of the glass is obviously outside the house, and I'm in the inside of the house. Uh, if it was a bright sunny day, then the curing time, the actual UV and light from the sun will cure the bevel faster than what I want. So it's a good idea to either do this uh, when the sun is on the other side of the house, when it's, or create some shade, so you can control the light, because you don't want the uh, bevel curing prematurely. In direct sunlight, the... Um, the uh, bevel will cure in about five seconds, so we don't want it curing that fast because as we're, as we're putting it on, it, it, it will cure. So either do it at night time or do it when the sun's on the other side of the house or create some shade. Um, but to here we've got a big awning, it's overcast and the sun is on the other side of the house, so we're fine. We're just removing our stencil, rotating stencil. And it relieves, it reveals how um, our square design. Now this excess adhesive around the outside here um, we'll clean off in a minute. But the first thing we need to do is um, clean off our stencil um, because we don't want to be putting it, laying it around the floor or um, the workshop over with the tissue just to remove any excess adhesive that's just still in a liquid form. tissue in hand. We're just going to remove the, um, the harder adhesive that's turned into a bit of a solid just with a, a razor blade. Just being very careful with the razor blade, keeping your fingers away from the sharp side. It's just, just going round our and remove as much of that adhesive off the glass as possible without smearing it, that's why we put it straight into the tissue.